physical and emotional responses that occur when the requirements of the work which you are doing does not meet capabilities, resource or needs of the worker. This is stress. One fourth of employees view their job as the number one stressor in their lives as per Northwestern National Life Survey. Three fourths of the employees believe the worker has more on the job stress than a generation ago. Princeton Survey Research Associates. Problems at work are more strongly associated with health complaints, St. Paul Fire and Marine Insurance Corporation. This survey repeatedly shows that nowadays the job related or the work related stress is real and is increasing. The concept of job stress is often confused with challenge. While challenge energizes us psychologically and physically, it motivates us to learn new skills and master our jobs. It provides happiness and satisfaction. But the situation becomes different when challenge has turned into job demands that cannot be met. Relaxation has turned into exhaustion and a sense of satisfaction has turned into feeling of stress. In short, the stage is now set for illness, injury, and job failure. So, how to identify work-related stress? Few are symptoms are fatigue, muscular tensions, headaches, heart palpitation, sleeping difficulties, gastrointestinal upsets, dermatological disorders. These are few easily identifiable and detectable symptoms of work-related stress. So, what are those job conditions that may lead to stress? The design of task, heavy workload, infrequent rest break, long work hours and shift work, hectic and routine tasks that have little inherent meaning, interpersonal relationship, poor social environment and lack of support or help from co-workers and supervisors, work rules, conflicting or uncertain job expectation, too much responsibility, too many hats to wear, career concerns, job insecurity and lack of opportunities for growth, advancement or promotion, rapid changes for which workers are unprepared. Or environmental condition, unpleasant or dangerous, physical conditions such as crowding, noise or ergonomic problems. Now these were the reasons of the job condition which resulted into stress and we also studied the symptom of the stress. But how does exactly these two are related? So what are the relationship between job stress and health or how body reacts to it? Stress sets off an alarm in the brain which responds by preparing the body for defensive action. The nervous system is aroused and hormones are released to sharpen the senses, quicken the pulse, deepen respiration and tense the muscles. This response is important because it helps us defend against diverse situations. The response is pre-programmed biologically. Everyone responds in much the same way, regardless of whether the stressful situation is at work or home. When stressful situations go unresolved, the body is kept in a constant state of activation, which increases the rate of wear and tear to biological system, ultimately fatigue or damage results. And the ability of the body to repair and defend itself can become seriously compromised as a result the stage for risk of injury or disease escalates. So what can we do about it? So few of the simple steps are track your stressor, keep a journal for a week or two to identify which situation create the most stress in you and how did you respond to them. Record your thoughts, feelings and information about the environment including the people and circumstances involved, the physical setting and how you reacted. Those will give you the pointers to you or the reactors which resulted and in stress into you. Develop healthy responses. Instead of attempting to fight stress with fast foods, do your best to make healthy choices when you feel the tension rise. Exercise is a great stress buster. Also make time for hobbies and favorite activities. Whether it's reading a novel, going to concerts or playing games with your family, make sure to set aside time for the things that brings you pleasure. Establish boundaries. In today's digital world, it is easy to feel pressure to be available 24 cross 7 hours a day. Establish some work-life boundaries for yourself. That might mean making a rule not to check email for example in the evening once you are at home or similar things like that. Take time to recharge. 
To avoid the negative aspects of chronic stress and burnout, we need time to replenish and return to our pre-stress level of functioning. This recovery process requires switching off from the work by having periods of time when you are neither engaging in work related activities nor thinking about work. That is why it is critical that you disconnect from time to time in a way that fits your need and preferences. Learn how to relax, this is important. Techniques such as meditation, deep breathing exercises, mindfulness, a state in which you actively observe present experiences and thoughts without judging them can help melt away stress. Start by taking a few minutes each day to focus on a simple activity like breathing, walking or enjoying a meal. This episode was just to highlight how real the stress is and how we can tackle it in a simple steps. Hope you have enjoyed our this episode, comment and engage with us. Thank you.